Hi guys, it's Misty with Huck Creative Creations. I'm here today to show you how I made this speckled orange dragon. I just cut out the ear. Now I'm cutting out the horns. And this dragon will have four horns. Two on each side. Long, longer ones towards the top. Then its ears. And then two smaller ones. Sorry if I seem like I'm yelling. I'm using a different mic than normal. And there's the shorter horns. Now this is a special felt that has sparkle on one side. Glittery. It's, pretty, it's really pretty. It's black and glittery. But only on one side. On the other side, it's just plain black felt. So I'm going to cut out two. And I'm going to stagger them just a little bit. And you'll see that in just a second. So when you look at the dragon from either side, you'll see... Every other fin is spike fin is going to be sparkly and then it's going to be flat black, which is really awesome. So, and I did the wave type spiky thing. It looks like a sharp short fin. See, when I offset it, you'll see the different. Now I'm sticking up the ears, just real quick, up one side, turn it, and down the other side. Knot it off, and then it's time to turn it. I do two of those, one for each side. I already did the drawing of the pattern and everything. I'm not going to show everything every time because I feel like y'all have seen it. But if y'all want me to show something like that again... Or every time y'all want to see the whole process every time, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to do it. It just, I feel like I get redundant. I feel like it gets boring. But then again, I watch a soap maker and she does process every time too. So, this is a horn. Similar to the ears, but you just go up the one side because I do it on the fold. And I believe these are the long ones. Hook of horns. No. <laughs> well, I am from Texas, but. And these are the little ones. Like I said, the big horns are going to go on top and the little ones blow the ears. Then I turned and stuffed the horns. If y'all want to help us out, please hit the like button. Smash it. Kill it. Because that really helps us out. That tells YouTube that more people need to see this. So. Um, pinning the ears, the horns, and then the ears, and I'm doing a pinch pleat to make the ear even more three-dimensional. And I'll pin it in place. And then I'll put in the other horn. And I'll repeat the process on the other side. Wasn't that an Aerosmith song? On the other side. Yeah, I don't want me to sing because I can't sing. My son sh showed a, shot a picture. I was singing along with a TikTok the other day. And my son sh took a picture of the cats. One of the cats had their ears covered up. While I was singing, I don't think the kitten appreciated my singing. She thought it was horrible. Here I am stitching them together. Just fold it over and stitch it up, down, back and forth. Do it again. I, these. I double sew all the ears and horns on all the po stick ponies, dragons, stick creatures. Because I look at it as that's where the kids can tug and pull. But what about the kid? So, zippy, zippy, zippy. Now I'm, I've sewn it all up. And I am doing a casing at the bottom. Then you got to clip the corners, the tight corners. I don't clip all the corners and curves, just the tight ones. And then you turn them it, rock that out. Look at those. It looks spooky. Rawr. 
Ah. And then I, I went ahead and put the zip tie in off camera and stuffed him off camera. Now I'm pulling it tight. And you'll see me pull it away from camera view for a second. It's because I really pull as hard as I can. And that stick by itself with just a zip tie through that casing, it doesn't come off very easily. I mean, it still does, but not very easily. So when all said and done and off camera, I add just a little bit of glue around it and that keeps it on tight. Well, this was the making of it. And he is so handsome. He looked like he ready to spit fire, huh? Y'all like, subscribe, whatever. See? Isn't he fierce? Yes. He's fierce. I like him. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments.